My name is Fernando Martinez. I am originally from New Mexico, but I currently reside in El Paso, Texas, and I am 19 years old. We, I was born in New Mexico, but we moved um, to El Paso when I was relatively uh, young. Just financial things and to be closer to our family. And we moved back for a bit, then we moved back to El Paso. And uh, I've been here ever since. I'll pick you up, baby. <laughs> El Paso is one of those cities where there's a divisive line. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally love El Paso. Just the culture, the people. A city is its people, and the people that reside within El Paso are... It's just a beautiful melting pot of so many, so many different cultures and backgrounds, and they all sort of mesh together into one. And that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love El Paso. Doesn't matter if you're from the north, from the south, anytime you come and visit El Paso, you always feel like you're at home. You always find a place of your home within these streets. I love, absolutely love watching the sunrise and the sunsets here in the desert landscape. On top of that, I also enjoy uh, just walking around downtown whenever I have the opportunity. It's a little slice of Chicano culture in El Paso. It's like stepping into a time machine. The old apartment buildings, the puestos de comida in the downtown area, the shops. It's just a beautiful way to really glam glimpse at the heart of El Paso. Chicos Tacos. Now, <laughs> I hope, uh, another El Paso one isn't watching this, but I'm actually not a fan of Chicos. I'm more of a fan of the atmosphere, not so much of the food. Nothing quite beats being at Chico's at midnight with a jukebox playing in the background with good people. El Paso has its very own breed of Texans. Because I've traveled uh, north towards Amarillo and um, the, Texas, the people of Amarillo are very much different than the people in El Paso. I believe El Paso people have a specific... How do I say this? A pride. They, they carry a pride about being from El Paso, which makes them stand out from the rest of the crowds in, in Texas, and I find that remarkable. So the incident that happened in August, I was at home, and I started seeing the news reports about what happened, what was going, going on, and the first thing that came to my mind was, I need to make sure my family and friends are okay. I need to see if they're okay. So uh, that's what I did. I started sending messages, calling people, making sure where they were, if they were all right, they needed assistance. 